Hey what's up everyone I'm Titash Malik back with another video and this video is an After Effects tutorial and today I'm gonna show you guys how to create smoke in your video um, whenever you are not allowed to lit fire or something that scares smoke in your shooting place and further I proceed let's take a look at this video you can clearly show the smoke coming out of the debris that is placed in front of the fireplace and by the way this is a clip from our short film uh, Oshomafto if you haven't checked this out then go and check this out there's a link in the description and you can also check this out uh, by clicking the eye that is placed on the top right corner of your YouTube screen so let's jump with After Effects and start it first we open the After Effects now create a new composition by hitting Ctrl N and we name this Smoke and you have to create a new uh, solid layer hit ctrl y or command y create a new solid layer you don't have to select any color because it the effect we're gonna apply on this is uh, color independent and now search in the effects and per uh, precise rack uh, for particle playground select the particle playground and apply it on the solid layer that you have created move the position of your particles and this is basically a particle effects and um, we're gonna create smoke from this particle and you can see the particles are flowing uh, first of all change the color of your particle for a smoky look uh, select a gray or white then you have to change the gravity go to the gravity section and look at the force and force it down to zero you don't have to any you don't want any gravitational force applied to your particles and now we're gonna apply some expression to our particles so that it's look more natural smoke like thing and what we have to do we have to change the barrel radius for a point source to a large source of uh, particles and we have to animate direction so what we have to do alt select the stopwatch and expression control menu will appear and type here wiggle and apply the marks uh, we're gonna use wiggle 1 comma 115 in the first bracket one is the um, amplitude and 15 is the um, wavelength and actually it's a type of graphical interpretation of the changes in animation and next we're gonna apply much more wiggle expression and now apply wiggle expression to um, particle per second same alt plus enter on the stopwatch and type wiggle 1 comma 150 and it will basically change the flow of the particles you can see it's kind of looks like smoke bit of smoke because it is not a smoky feel you can see the particles clearly and now we're gonna animate barrel radius with the same expression wiggle and this time 3 comma 14 in the first bracket it's kind of good and what we have to do now is up is to apply a new effect that will change the current look to a smoke like look you can see that uh, the flow is quite abrupt we're gonna apply one other expression in velocity this time wiggle one four in the first bracket this will change the velocity uh, to a much more naturalistic look and you can see the particle is moving quite in a hazardous way or quite in a random way you, you, you expect a smoke to be random and now I apply fast blur on the layer crank up the blurriness up to 35 percent in this case uh, now look it's quite a bit looks like smoke and let's import one of our footage and check this out we import this thing 
drag into our composition scale it a little bit and this looks like perfect now you can if you can see the smoke then you can see that the smoke is coming uh, behind the uh, I mean from the downside of the video that's that isn't look natural for this scene actually so what we have to do is to move the barrel move the position of the uh, particle generator to some naturalistic position so what we have to do now is to go to effect control again for the layer that you have applied the particle playground and fast blur and select the position of the canyon and select in it wanted place the place you want and for this case we selected it for the uh, debris that is placed in front of the fireplace now make the scene quite a different and interesting so we are applying mojo on the main video footage uh, mojo's up to get a much more bluish naturalistic filmic look and this is quite good you can see the smoke coming in coming out from the debris and let's play with the bloodiness you can play with all the settings and you will get many different types of um, you know effects and we are currently applying an wiggle effect to the bloodiness again because it will ch change the amount of bloodiness every random time and this time we will in first bracket 1 comma 5 is our desire and you can see that it's kind of look like smoke and what you have to do now is to uh, mix this effect with your scene so you have to apply some color correction to it so what you have to do create a new adjustment layer place it on the top and apply a curve to the adjustment layer perfect now play with the curves uh, we are placing down RGB uh, curve a little bit down and a red curve to a little bit up blue to a down and green to a down and you can see that this is looks this looks quite a bit quite a better than the previous thing and a brightness and contrast we are applying brightness and contrast before the curves because uh, it will change the look if you put it in different position and we are increasing the contrast up to 93 and down the brightness to 45 because we are uh, we want a quite a night type of look for, for our scene and I think this is perfect for this time you can look it actually you can play everything you can you want to with your scene and for a natural more natural look I have to create a smoke that comes in front of the character so place it in front of the character and copy the main video layer and you have to mask something mask your character or mask your object I am not getting in very details I am going to roughly mask the actor's leg and for the best result you have to mask and animate the mask for every frame of your video I am not going to do this in this case and you can look that it will look very different if you put your um, mask layer on top of the uh, smoke you can see that the smoke is coming behind the character and it gives more natural look to the scene and this is it actually for more cinematic look we should apply a cinema box like structure to our scene and crank down our curves a little bit more for a natural cinematic look that we want you can see that it's more or less perfect uh, apply a new apply a new solid control y and we are selecting the color black in this case and 
select a rectangular mask and mask your visible area and we are going to select mask inverted and you can see that the cinematic look to the scene gives it more natural look I think it's quite what we wanted and you can now export to Adobe Media Queue and that's it that's the basic effect that we are we created in the scene and you can see that that it's looking quite natural the smoke looks quite natural in the scene and that's it that's it for the tutorial and if you guys like that please let me know if you guys enjoyed please let me know so we will create this type of tutorials in future thanks for watching thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe to our channel thank you